Well, I'm here with Hunter today, and we're going to look at this idea of electrolysis, which is using electrical current to create or produce a chemical reaction. And Hunter's going to be using 10,2 chloride for this, and he's got a solution of it there. And let's go ahead and put our goggles on, and then I'm going to have you add some sodium bisulfate into that. Right now it's kind of this whitish color, and we want it to be clear so that we can see what's happening in it. So go ahead and add that into our 10,2 chloride. Alright, so we have our clear 10 uh, chloride solution now, and Hunter's just going to add that to a petri dish. And just, that's about good there, okay. And go ahead, clip one of these paper clips on one side, I'm going to clip one on the other side, and what we're going to have, we're going to have paper clips on opposite sides of the dish. That way when we hook up our battery, the electrical current's going to flow through. And if you just want to hook the alligator clip, just took that to the negative end and you can hook that onto your paper clip. I'll hook this on the positive and hook it to mine. And we're going to let this sit for a few minutes and now what's happening is that electrical current goes into the 10,2 chloride solution. It's going to start crystallizing the actual tin, elemental tin, out of that and we'll be able to see tin crystals. We already see them forming a little bit but metallic tin crystals forming in our solution. So we'll give that a few minutes for the reaction to take place and then we'll come back and check on it. Well, Hunter, it's been about five minutes now, and it definitely looks like a chemical change has taken place inside our Petri dish, right? Mm -hmm. You see all the metallic material in there? That is actually metal. That's tin that formed out of that 10,2 chloride solution through the electrical current passing. And you noticed as it formed, this is where our negative end of the battery is connected. And, of course, the electrons are flowing out the negative end through there. So that's actually as the current goes in through the liquid that's going to start forming the crystals on the negative end all the way over connecting eventually like it did to the positive end and really filling the whole bottom of the petri dish with the metal that's being formed out of that solution so this is again that idea of electrolysis using electricity to drive a chemical reaction which is a pretty cool reaction here pretty pretty neat demonstration of that concept and just a a great way to actually see metallic tin being crystallized out like that from 102 chloride solution